So this drama is with a plushie Etsy store. This is the first plushie drama that we've had. So let's get into this. This is a tweet that was made by Lover Plier, who goes by the Twitter name Sleepless Elsie. I'll just be calling them Elsie for clarity. They wrote, if you're looking to order a custom plushie doll in Etsy, do not buy from Gamlet's store. I wrote about my horrible experience with this shop over the course of six months after spending almost $400 on a custom engineer Mark plushie. Oh, is it like a Markiplier plushie? It might've been a Markiplier plushie actually guessing off the username so this was the store that they show it they're called gamblet store but with a four instead of an a with 951 sales by the way again please don't send hate to any creator anybody involved right because as far as i've currently seen we only have elsie's side of the story and every story has two sides and the truth so elsie continues so back in april i decided i really wanted a plushie of engineer mark from markiplier's youtube original series and space with markiplier i searched around on etsy and found the shop that seemingly had good reviews and i liked their style so i messaged them so they write hello i hope you're doing well i've been thinking for quite a while now about commissioning someone to make a plushie and i like your shop but i have a few questions firstly the plushie i want is based off one of markiplier's characters called engineer mark and i was wondering if that would be okay i know some artists have restrictions on other people's characters although markiplier is okay with fan made and custom made merch and encourages it especially when commissioning artists second i don't have a drawing of him but i have loads of reference photos including my own detailed drawings i've done of the patches on his suit if that would be doable lastly i'm a bit torn on which listing to order from as i'm not sure what would work best and would like some guidance if making a plush out of engineer mark isn't doable i totally understand and they attach some photos of engineer mark in his suits elsie continues i was nervous about making such a big purchase like this so i messaged them first to ask some questions and get a feel on how the seller would interact they responded with the listings i needed in order to order from and i did so it looks like they sent a listing for 1669 for a plushie gamblitz writes hello this is a link to the custom doll do you need to customize his clothes customized clothes require additional payment can you accept this the resulting effect would look very cheap and it is handmade. There is no guarantee that it will be 100%. I can only imitate it. Can you accept it? And Elsie writes, yes, I need his clothes and I'm able to pay additional fees. Is there an option to select further clothes before I place the order? Also, he has a little beret. I'm not sure if you do hats, but it's not required if you don't do them. Elsie, by the way, is so sweet. Dream customer vibe so far. Sends another link to a listing for a custom garment and they write, here is a link to custom clothes. Requiring a hat is a complicated task. And Elsie says, okay, the hat is not required. That's totally fine. Elsie continues, I ordered the biggest size they offered along with the corresponding clothes and then i waited i respect that commissions can take time especially of this caliber so i was more than patient and understanding i ordered on april 26 and received the first update on june 9 so here they showed the order so they paid in philippine pesos i believe right so they ordered a 11.8 inch doll with clothing and the production difficulty is listed as medium task. The style is clothes, pants, and shoes. The total comes out to 378 USD. I myself have not ordered a custom plushie. My brother has. This is on the expensive side, in my opinion, from, from what I have heard from my brother for custom plushies. He paid for a custom plushie that was more complex than this that also came with a shield, and his order came out to 200 USD. So maybe, like, again, every artist gets to charge their own prices, right? And you are completely valid in choosing the prices you do we will see later whether it is potentially worth it because allegedly this is a scam so that's at least from my my little two cents with my brother ordering wait actually that's true wait never mind 11 inches is big no his is around 11 too maybe a little bit smaller his is complicated his plushie was complicated because she also had a ponytail so it was a ponytail with a shield with like a kind of like really fantastical armor it was pretty complex gamblets as this is a picture of the clothes please ignore the doll this doll is my own the clothing wow wait that looks really good and then gamblet says hello the size of the clothes is 20 cm sorry do you mind if you mind i can make a new one but it will take some time oh they messed up the doll is supposed to be 30 cm but they made clothes i i guess gamblet's messed up and made clothes for a 20 cm doll instead of a 30 cm doll by cm i mean centimeters so it looks it sounds like they made clothes for a doll that was smaller than what elsie paid for so elsie continues they told me the size of the clothes they made were 20 cm and asked me if that was okay at the time i didn't realize what they were asking me so i said it was fine it looked perfect and i was thrilled to have it up update over a month. Elsie said, OMG is perfect. I don't mind at all. Oh, there might have been a miscommunication here because I believe Gamblet's made the clothing for a 20 centimeter tall doll instead of a 30 centimeter tall doll. That's how I read this. Elsie said, not long after, a friend, Captain Eef, and I were talking and he told me he recently placed a custom plushie order on Etsy too. Separately, we had coincidentally ordered from the same shop. Wait, what are the odds? He told me he had gotten a sketch of his doll, but I had it. So I asked the seller about it. So they were in the DMs again 
the seller, Elsie, writes, Hey, I was talking to a friend of mine who placed a custom order with you, and he ended up getting a sketch of his doll. And I was just wondering if that was something I was going to get as well. I'm just worried I don't want you to put in all this work on the plush and something isn't accurate. And Gamlet says, Okay, I'll send it to you. Elsie said, They sent me the sketch and it came back with incorrect features. Mark has brown eyes, not blue. Incidentally, Martin had the same issue except reversed. I told them it was incorrect and they brushed it off saying it's only a sketch. So Elsie says, He has brown eyes, but other than that, he's so cute. Is there a way to make the facial hair less thick as well? And Gamblet said, This is just a sketch. Please don't worry. And here is a photo of the sketch. Markiplier does not have blue eyes. But this looks really cute though. Elsie continues, which confuses me deeply because what's the point of the sketch if you're going to include incorrect details? But I digress. After that, they told me the product they make wasn't up to their standards, so they would be remaking the embroidery. So Gamblet says, Hello, I'm sorry to bother you, but it still needs the final embroidery because the first version hasn't achieved the results I desired. It will take some more time. Once completed, it will be sent to you on the same day. Please be patient and thank you for your understanding. And this was on July 7th, by the way. The order was placed by Elsie April 26th. They first started communicating. This is now a month later. They didn't really answer the facial hair question, Eris. Yeah, they did not answer about making it thinner either. By the way, like low-key, I have a theory. I have a theory, low-key. My theory is that this seller might outsource labor instead of making it their own. Elsie continues, again, Martin had the exact same issue with the exact same message. We suspect it's to further drag out the process to prevent refunding the order with Etsy and your bank, but I would need to gather proof on that. This message is what makes me suspect that. It just feels shady. And I've seen reviews under this shop saying something similar. By this point, the shop has marked my order as shipped, even though it actually wasn't a finished product yet. So Gamblitz writes, hello, I need to clarify something with you. This is also on July 7th. The tracking number I have provided is not the correct one for your order. It's the tracking number required by the Etsy platform. Once I finish making your product, I will send you the correct tracking number. I'm sorry for any confusion this may have caused. I'm very confused. Oh, if the eye color is the issue, they might as well just change it because it's easy to change that. And it's extremely easy to change it, by the way, because all you do is color bucket brown in there instead and then you're done. So yeah, I do agree it's weird that they didn't change the eye color because it's easy. On one hand, maybe they're lazy and they're like, oh, well, trust me, bro, I'll make it brown. It's just weird to me because yeah, it is an easy change. I think the fake tracking number is really weird. Why would Gamblet send a tracking number when the item isn't finished yet? But yeah, I think this is really weird. The only reason I could think that you might want to do this is to scam. As in like you send a tracking number so on Etsy's end, Etsy will read it as the fact that the, the item was sent. So Elsie writes, oh, okay, all good as long as I get him in my hands. I'm sorry things didn't go well the first time. Would you be able to provide an estimated time for when it will be done? Also a final sketch of what you plan on doing so we can be on the same page about the details. I just want to make sure things go smoothly from now on. You know what I think is really weird too? I think it's weird no sketch was sent for the clothing. Elsie has requested something pretty complex for clothing, right? Mark is in a jumpsuit with a lot of patches on it and the patches need to be accurate. He's not just wearing like a black t-shirt and jeans, bro. He's wearing a very, very complex outfit that has custom patches. I think it's really weird that for something that specific, no sketch was sent because this would lead to a situation where you could have a lot of miscommunication. Elsie continues, I asked for an estimated time for when the doll will be done to which they responded 10 days. Nearly two weeks later, I had not received anything from the seller without reaching out to them first. They sent me an updated pic with the wrong features yet again. The gambit says it will take about 10 days. Please don't worry. July 20th, so 13 days after they communicated, Elsie is asking for an update. Gambit says this is the progress picture of the doll. And the doll has blue eyes. Elsie says, I told you he doesn't have blue eyes. His eyes are brown. Gambit says, okay, I'll talk to the designer. There's a designer. Okay, I think I have a theory. I'll tell you my theory at the end, but I have a feeling Gambit is outsourcing to Chinese manufacturers. I have plushies that look like this, by the way. So that's my theory. Elsie continues, the wrong features yet again. After telling them their sketch was wrong and them brushing me off and telling me not to worry, they get it wrong. They then say they'll talk to the designer, which is the first time I'm hearing of another person being involved in this process. By this point, I was beyond frustrated. It's been months and things are being done wrong despite communicating with them on what I want and hearing that my friend is having the exact same issues. I'm starting to feel like this isn't a one-off thing. Finally, on August 6th, they tell me the doll is ready and that the clothes are being made. Question mark. I thought the clothes were already done as shown above, but whatever. The seller says your doll is ready. The dress is still being made. What do you mean dress? It's a jumpsuit. Like there could be a language barrier here, but I would also imagine if there is a language barrier, you would communicate that. So August 6th, Elsie says, thank you. And August 6th, they says, I will make your doll's clothes as soon as I can. Elsie continues, the next thing I know, the doll is in my possession and the clothes are about three sizes too small. This is where I mentioned above how I didn't realize what they were asking me. I'm not sure why they thought I'd be okay with the clothes not fitting on the doll I paid three eighty four. This is communicated on August 28th because I'm dead. Uh, I'm laughing 
because it's just funny, but I am really sorry to Elsie because this sucks, but the image is just really funny. And Elsie says, hey, the doll just arrived. Why do the clothes not fit? Like, how does that make any sense? Like, what am I supposed to do with this naked doll and the clothes that don't fit? I'm just laughing at the absurdity of the situation. Gambit says, I told you before that my designer made the clothes in the size of a 20cm doll and you said you didn't mind. Just backtrack. I know Elsie said it was okay because Elsie didn't understand, but I don't think it's Elsie's fault. Hear me out, okay? If you made a doll and they asked also asked for clothes that the doll was supposed to wear why would you ever assume that they would be okay with clothes that would not fit? Does that make sense? I feel like in this situation, Gambit should have never asked, are you okay with a 20cm, an outfit that is supposed to fit a doll that is a third, like two thirds of your doll size? They should have just immediately been remade. Let's say I've made clothing for people, okay? You give me your sizing. Hey, so I am, you know, I am like this he this heavy, this tall. My, my measurements are this. And I would like one custom made hoodie. And and then I make the hoodie and I'm like, hey, bro, I made the hoodie in the size of a toddler. I know you are, are like, I don't know, a 200 pound, six foot tall male. But like, are you OK with it being the size of a toddler, even though you paid an adult male size for clothing you intended to make for yourself? Like you should never assume that's OK because you knew what this was intended for. And yeah, Moon Elf, that's a very, very good point, too. Very good point. I want to back this up real quick. Let's take a look at this photo. That is not clothing for a 20 cm doll. That's like clothing for a 10 cm doll. Not the right size, bro. I feel like the outfit is cute though, but it doesn't fit. So then Elsie continues. So they offered to make new clothes for free, which I'll applaud them for. The clothes arrived and they're still too small. It may not appear that way in the pic, but I tried so hard to get them on and they wouldn't budge. This looks like an outfit for a 20 cm doll. The other outfit looked like it was for a 10 cm doll, like centimeters. It's still the wrong size. And here Here's my other theory too. My theory being that Gambits does not make it themselves, but instead outsources to an overseas manufacturer. Because if you made it yourselves, how do you fuck this up? If you have the doll in hand, how do you then make the outfit not fit the doll? Also, normally, don't you make the doll first and then the outfit second so the outfit fits? I feel like the order is wrong. Maybe that's just me. I don't make dolls or clothing, but I made clothing in the past, like sewing experience, right? But I feel like the typical order is you get the doll size first, then put the outfit on second. That's my guess though. I feel like this this is not done in the right order. Because then you would avoid the issue of it not fitting. Elsie continues, at this point, I've given up. I'm so tired from spending half a year trying to get this shop to hear what I'm saying. It seems to me as if there's multiple people involved and none of them communicate with each other. Nobody knows the doll's details or the correct sizing. Moral of the story, do not waste your time on your hard earned money on this shop. Because the time I spent waiting for this doll, I could have learned to sew and make it my damn self. This thread is getting a lot more attention than I realized it would. I'd like to clarify, based on the replies, it seems like a lot of people have had good experiences. While a lot of people seem to have had really bad ones. All I wanted to do was make people aware so they can make their own educated decisions. Beware of what you may get when you order from this shop is all I'm trying to say. And y'all coming at me saying I should have known not to order plushies from Etsy. Where is that common knowledge? I've never had issues with Etsy sellers prior to this. I know that it takes time and years of experience to do stuff like this. That's not my point. I feel like people blaming Elsie is really weird. It's not Elsie's fault. How's Elsie supposed to know this bro is going to scam them out of like $400? If you want custom things, everyone knows that Etsy is where you get custom things. Nowadays, it is getting pretty rampant with AI. Eyes, that's a complete separate thing for in in the past like years from etsy they have been the hub for custom made items i literally just ordered something custom made for my best friend like yesterday and if i get scammed i'll be sad it was a good amount of money but yeah so pretty common thing um lc continues please i'm begging you not to shame people for being naive if i had known obviously i wouldn't have done what i did you live and you learn all i wanted to do with this thread was to share my experience so people can make a better decision than i did i think elsie did nothing wrong i don't want people like okay some people might be like oh you said okay to this 20 TCM clothing, whatever. In my opinion, it's not Elsie's fault. The seller should have never thought that was okay to begin with. The seller should have never thought that it was okay to offer Elsie clothing that is supposed to be on the doll that is not going to fit at all. If it was a cape and it was a little bit smaller, that, that's not as big of a deal because you can just like put it on. To give Elsie clothing for a doll they ordered that would never fit the doll. Why would you think it's okay? Even if Elsie said it was okay, like Elsie clearly said it was okay because they were confused about what you're asking. The seller messed up with the clothing size they should have agreed it's okay and the seller has made a lot of other weird behavior too like a month and a half with no communication no sketches given to a custom order that requires sketching like a custom plushie needs a lot of detail because i designed
designed a custom plushie for my brother that he then commissioned from somebody. I can show you guys. It is one of the most viewed clips on my stream, actually. I know it looks bad. I know it looks bad because I didn't realize that outlining it like this looks like that. But this is the custom plushie design that I did for my brother that he then ordered from somebody. Okay, I'm sorry. I know it looks really bad. I didn't I didn't see it like I didn't notice till somebody put it out. No, it's like a it's 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 a fabric. It's fabric. Anyways, okay, this is the design that I did. You need a sketch for custom plushies. You need one. That was three years ago, bro. That, no, it, it is clothing. It is like a drape, okay? I know it looks so bad. But anyways, I'm not beating the allegations, bro. Yeah, that clip was uh, something else. Anyways, I have made custom plushies, stuff like, like designed it. You need to do that sketching type. You need to give it. Otherwise, trust me, bro, isn't going to be good enough for something this specific. But let's read the comments here. So we have Shai Shai Octavia writing. Judging by the way this person talks and the big gaps between updates, I'm fairly certain this is a representative of a Chinese manufacturing company making one-offs, hence why they have designers involved. That is my theory. Elsie says, that's what I figured out by the end of the entire experience. I wish I had done more research and talked to more people before wasting my time with this shop. Livy commented, there's some five-star reviews from today on their profile saying the exact same thing. Wait, we have Cobri writing, great quality plushie, definitely will buy from again in the near future, period. Cobri with a different emote says, quality plushie, definitely will buy from again in the near future period and then somebody else says great quality plushie definitely will buy from again in the near future period yeah i truly think it's cooked captain gooby says what an absolute effing nightmare holy f this is so bad and so unprofessional of them elsie says i understand things happen but the fact that martin had the exact same issues i had i'm struggling to sympathize and here's some other experiences so we have first great magic writing thank you for this thread i ordered from there recently and had my beloved oc butchered to death they only took five days to make my plushie and they didn't put any sort of care into it for 200 plus dollar job everything down to the skin color was off Elsie says oh my goodness i'm so sorry this would happen if you don't send sketches of course no sketches were sent it causes issues so azrael todd writes omg i actually got a plush from them the other day trying to communicate changes for my plush was so difficult i took three different tries in the sketch and when they made it it didn't look anything like the sketch they did his hair wrong and the clothes i received were way too big elsie says this is happening way too often for it to be an accident in my opinion then we have grim moore writing hmm i got my custom plush from these guys too and he's genuinely amazing at least i think so anyways although i provided my own design to them maybe that was a difference also i believe the person making the plushies are based in hong kong which i thought was a tad strange well this plushie looks really cute and it comes with shoes too elsie says seems to be 50 50 with this shop based on my replies which is leading me to think there's definitely a team of people or as many people have been saying they're using a third party manufacturer to me a 50 50 chance of getting a good product is enough to sway me anyways grimoire says that's totally fair i mean based on your thread alone i've decided i'm not going back to them if i want another plush done it truly seems i I got lucky. And Grimoire adds, the store says they're based in the US. I ordered mine in mid-May and got him at the start of September. I actually took it upon myself to message once every two weeks for an update and they replied within 24 hours each time. I want to stress I'm not trying to defend them. What you went through was very shitty and I'm sorry you experienced that. I just found it interesting that my experience was rather pleasant in comparison. So we have Fall Marin writing, I knew that name sounded familiar when I read through the story. Saw them list this plushie that I was interested in and look at the review images of what they actually look like. So here is the plushie they've listed gale plush wait this gale plush looks so cute mega mind gale cat mac writes this looks like a terrible knockoff of somebody's actual plush creation quality and stitching is abysmal for a hundred dollars no less edit must have gotten a bad batch with a few others seller has been very communicative of fixing the issues homie's mega mind bro and annie adds the reason the plushies look like that from the seller is because the example image is from another maker as seen below it's not a one-to-one -one image but you can see the style is the same in other images they show the clothes and that is from sen mu on twitter we have another person by the name of neonel oh, i'm just gonna call them jojo i ordered a plush plus two to five week time frame around june 25th and the plushie arrived on august 19th two to three months a week before i had to fly out i would ask for updates weekly and then they only sent two photo updates which was one progress photo before shipping jojo says here for an update i believe it's the fifth week and gamlet says hello my designer has injured her hand and is now recuperating we need to wait until she recovers before we can continue making the doll i am sorry to have kept you waiting for so long after she recovers we will make the doll for you as soon as possible and this is the order for 130 dollars i mean he looks all right this is vengeance jonasy from fortnite i just forgot to draw the back ref so instead of a fade he got a mullet that's my bad i want to find someone else who can make the clothes for him gladly i didn't pay for extra from the seller here's the other thing i'm gonna add too i feel like the quality differs as in the two people who said they had good experiences have both provided the sketches themselves jojo provided the the reference for the front themselves and the other person who had the good experience better experience of their 
their OC had also provided their sketch. So that's kind of what it seems like to be a trend here. I want to look up that store on Etsy. The Hendo's Gamlet store. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, the vendor literally had one job, which is why I think it's a little bit odd. They have to help. Okay, I think I found their store. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is the store. There, go by the Handle Gamlet store. Welcome to my store from today on. This store will start selling handmade clay figures, undertake various customized characters, and every order will come with a special gift. So here they're offering customized plush dolls, more customized plush dolls, extra charges, clay figures, doll accessories. Oh, they were disappointed with the eye color, but they liked the doll. How are they getting all of these five-star reviews? Also, there's no way they make it themselves. There's no way. Like, how do you have this many? Okay, so custom plushies are extremely time consuming to make. How do you have this many positive reviews? Okay, here's another like tin foil hat theory that I have, okay? My tin foil hat theory is what if the reason they're making all these excuses is because it ships from China? So that they have to come up with reasons as to why it takes like 20,000 years for it to arrive. But then if they say it's for shipping reasons, people are going to be like, why does it take five weeks for it to ship within the US? So there's a lot of sellers in Asia, like China, who will do this for you. Like manufacturers, okay? Here we have one. The manufacturer is called like, what? Zuho, Dalpun Toy Co, etc. Right? Where you can make custom chibis. Look what they advertise for you. They will design the character for you. They will make it for you. They will make the clothes for it. So you can get $10 per piece if you buy between 2 to 99 etc, etc, etc. It's actually not $10 per piece. It's actually going to be a lot more expensive than that. But yeah, so you see here, the sample price for one plushie is $200 for a sample. So if you only order one. But if they constantly do this, they can probably negotiate a lower price. Yeah, you see this? Like, you give them a design and they'll make it for you. And there's a lot of other options. Too. I mean, hey, yo, you can buy custom clay figures. Figures. You can buy all of the stuff from Alibaba through Chinese manufacturers. I'm just saying, my theory is that that seller specifically is not making it themselves. They're outsourcing it overseas. There's too many red flags. One, they claim to ship from Florida, except why does the shipping take so long, right? They provided a fake tracking number and then they later actually shipped it. But what if they had received the order from China and then once they received it in hand, then they mailed it from Florida to them? You know what I'm saying? So, it would that would create two tracking numbers and but they would need to come up with an excuse as to why the shipping took three weeks instead of the typical one week it would take if it shipped within the u.s the poor communication gamblet is not making it themselves gamblet is outsourcing the labor to somebody else who is then outsourcing the labor you know or like to overseas okay which is why there's such a big communication issue because when you outsource labor like that the people at alibaba they speak english but the english isn't great so if you can speak chinese you can really communicate what you're looking for especially when it comes to something custom made like plushies when there's a lot of small fine details if you're communicating in english with overseas manufacturers where english is not their first language it's going to cause communication barriers this is my theory it may not be true that is just my little tinfoil hat theory person seems pretty sus like behaviors how unwilling they're offering samples and like sketches and stuff it's kind of odd definitely kind of odd that is the end of that drama that is the end of that story though i feel so 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 bad for elsie by the way because they are down like four hundred dollars they did get the plushie at the end of the day, but uh, the clothing was the most expensive part of the commission, right? The clothes cost double of the plushie. The plushie was like 120, right? USD, I'm guessing. The clothing was the rest of the order and it doesn't work. So that absolutely sucks. And at the end of the day, I don't think it's Elsie's fault at all. I gotta say, I don't think it's Elsie's fault at all. If you guys are ordering from people online though, please do your absolute due diligence because there's a lot of weird scammers like this who are trying to finagle a whole bunch of money out of you guys okay if you guys like this video like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in another one